so when I went online there were all kind of different suggestions about how to do these and there were all kinds of different suggestions based on how these were marked this one has 77 on both sides I read online that some of them will only have 77 on one side and some will actually have Mohawk 10 on them the thing that seemed to be going on for me and I tried you know filing this because one of the websites there was a guy that kind of filed this little area up here and it didn't seem to be doing anything but one of the things I did notice is that this little lip that sticks out here it goes into a notch on the back of this on the inside of this spring right there and you can actually see there's like a little thing down in there where that fits and it doesn't fit enough for that to hold it now if this was to move forward more which you can push it forward and it will hold it when you release it it pops out my thinking is that if that lip that little notch right there was just a bit bigger it would work so I've used some of this two-part pour 15 epoxy to make a little bit bigger notch which I can once it's hardened I can file that into into perfect shape so I'm gonna try that um, I may wind up adding back some of what I took off up here I don't know because it seemed to me like I was getting in there way plenty but that you know it might be might have been not doing what I wanted to do by taking that off so Anyway, it's a learning experience. Um, I'm gonna give that some time to dry. It'll probably need to harden up pretty good before I file on it. So I may wind up putting this away and just working on cleaning the parts. It would probably be, be kind of cool to, you know, clean these parts up and, and even re-blue them. I've never glued a gun before. But if I ever did see one that needed it, this is one that needs it. It looks pretty rough. So, um, We'll see what we get into. So there's that. I will show you what I use, the epoxy I use. There's all kinds of stuff around. There's JB Weld and different things. I find this stuff, this Pour 15 epoxy, epoxy Putty, it hardens pretty quick. It gets really good and hard. And uh, I think it might be a little more rigid than uh, JB Weld. We'll see how that works. I'll get back with you. 